Today, I'm here with Leona Keldemeyer of Assess the Nest. She created this business out of her passion for organizing, designing, and transforming lives. She loves working with families to streamline both their lives and their spaces. She believes our nest should be intentional, not chaotic, and that everything you want is on the other side of fear. Welcome to the show, Leona. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I know we've been connected for probably three or four years now, and I just love to see what you are doing over at Assess the Nest and how it's evolving. It's so awesome. I'm excited to be here. I couldn't have done it without you, and that's a fact. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, so tell us about yourself. What kind of called you to get into this field and this business? And, you know, have you always been passionate about organizing, or how did it all happen? Um, to be honest, I, um, I used to be a corrosion scientist for an engineering firm, and the company that I worked for, they just decided to dissolve my position. And so I was left unemployed for a while because um, every job that I would try to apply to, they kept saying I'm overqualified. So I just, um, after I got out of um, eating a lot of humble pie and putting my big girl panties on, um, and getting out of the depression state of losing my job, I decided, hey, I kind of um, analyzed myself a little bit and I asked myself, like, what am I really, really good at? And I was really great at organizing. And I said, you know what? I'm going to start an organizing business. So I did a lot of research and then I found you, Melissa, and, you know, I hired you to coach me and I built a website. And I, because I didn't want to do it just, you know, like, um, unprofessional. I didn't want to launch it and it be all choppy and just, you know, and I don't, I just didn't want it to come off unprofessional because I'd always been in the professional environment. And so I just wanted it to be presented very well. And so that's why I, I reached out, got some coaching, um, did all that hard work at first and then I launched it and I was ready to hit the ground running. And so I would absolutely not have been able to do any aspect of the business side of it without you. You have literally been the rock to the foundation. I mean, like the, the firm foundation for me to even be where I'm at today. So I really thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And you, I mean, you hit the ground running. You really did. You were like, I have this idea. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to knock it out of the park. And within a few days, you had your logo, your brand fonts, your colors, your website. Like you were, it, it was awesome. It was awesome working with you. So I so appreciate you being, you know, the go-getter that you are as well. And so I know that you had done some photography work um, prior to kind of getting into organizing. So how did you actually come up with the business name, Assess the Nest? Well, one day my daughter was like, hey, because we have a lot of, my, my husband is a professional angler. And so we have a ton of professional like video and photography equipment. And my daughter was going to prom and she was like, mom, like you're really good at taking pictures. Like you take pictures of dad. Like, hey, how about you take all my, mine and my friends um, prom pictures. And I was like, Ah, you know, like, sure. <laughs> and so I took all their prom pictures and they turned out like surprisingly well. And so I was like, hey, I kind of got enough for this, you know? And so I just thought, oh, well, I'll just become a professional photographer. And um, I got into it. And then once you get into something, you don't really realize like there's a bunch of other professional photographers. And um, then I kept getting hit constantly um, with big events and it was just way too much editing and time, very time consuming. And I said, okay, I'm done. And plus I didn't, um, I'm not someone who will compete with other people. I, I'm kind of one of those people that I like to compete with myself because I know what I'm capable of, but I don't know what everyone else is capable of. And I'm also not someone who is really huge on the editing of photography. Like I can do like the bare minimum, but like, I just like, I'm very authentic if you can't tell like by what I look like and pretty natural. And so um, I just, I really like that natural authentic picture. I don't like to make people look like they're 
like someone that they're really not. And so I just, I said, you know, I'm not going to compete. It was, it's so super saturated where I live. And so that I just, I didn't want to completely go and change my photography website. And so I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to intertwine photography and um, the professional organizing into one and just kind of make them speak with one another, you know, like coincide with one another. And so that's kind of how I came up with um, my little logo that's on my website. And then with, um, we call, I'm really little. And so, um, you know, how like some mamas are like, I'm a mama bear, you know, or I'm, you know, I'm like a mama bird because I'm really little. And so that we just kind of like in our home, it's like the call to our nest, you know, like I have two baby birds and, um, I'm the mama bird. I don't know. It was just kind of our thing. And so that's kind of why I named it called of our nest. And then I started thinking like, how can I spin off of nest for a professional organizing site? And I was like, oh my gosh, like assess the nest, you know, it's cause it's, I don't know. I just like the play on words there. And so that's, that's how I just, I don't know. I think it's a God thing because it just kind of all came and um, worked well together and like all the colors and um, I don't know. So, I mean, I'm not like where you're at, but I'm taking little baby steps to get there. So. I love it so much. I love the evolution and I love the backstory. I remember that story so well, where you're like, I'm the mama bird and these are all the little eggs and they're in the nest, like within the logo. And it's just, you know, I know you're all about family and I know you're all about, you know, faith. And so to me, like all of it just really played well together. And I love how soothing it is like, oh, she's going to come into my nest. You know, we call our home nest, right. And our sacred spaces and our, our safe space from the outside world. And you know, you're in there and you have like your blues and your tans and your beiges and like whites. And I just love what you put together. So when you were coming up with the actual logo, I remember you had kind of sketched it out and then you had sent it to a designer to make it. Cause I look at yours and I'm like, okay, I could not have made that in Canva. And you know, I love Canva, but your logo could not be made in Canva. So tell us how that kind of um, happened. I had worked with, um, before I was a scientist, I was a chemist, but we were doing this um, marketing campaign for safety and things like that. And so I, I was, I'm pretty creative. I'm not super, super creative, but when I am creative, like I can do a good job at it. Like when those juices are flowing. And um, one of the women that I had worked with to get this idea that I had for the marketing campaign for the safety thing that we were working on, it was like last minute risk assessment. And I had came up with this um, like oil drop that was like a character. And so it, anyway, so she helped. So I sketched that out and like, um, so I had known her from working with her. And so I was like, she can make my idea come to life. And so I was like, I love a nest and like, I love the little eggs. Cause you know, I kind of put my husband in there. I, I know I shouldn't say this, but you know, so as another, cause you know, we still got to take care of our husbands too. So I have three little eggs in the nest. And so, um, and then I'm like the mama bird. And so it was just like my little nest of, and those are my family. So like, I'm the mama bird and like, those are my little eggs. And so that's kind of how I came up with it. Um, because I don't know, I just sketched it out and she made it come to life and I told her the colors that I wanted and she put them all in there. And so that's how that all came about was um, just my little hand and paper scratching, you know, and then sending it on its way. Yeah, that's so smart because I think like so many of the women that kind of come through my programs is they get caught up on this, right? They're like, okay, I, my logo has to be absolutely perfect before I put it out into the world. And the thing is, most of the time it's going to change. It's going to evolve. It's going to pivot, you know, as your business evolves and as you move into new um, territory, so to speak, you know, sometimes your, your branding has to up level with you. And I just love that you had that connection to someone that was already a graphic designer and could really make this very professional logo right at, out of the gate, you know? So congratulations on having those connections. I think, you know, I always say your network is your net worth. And if you have those connections, it's awesome. Well, I still had to pay for it, you know, like 
it wasn't free. And that was the other thing is I did take a bit of a risk, um, which I'm not a risk taker, um, but I knew that I was really good at organizing. I just knew that it was a gift. And I knew that I wanted to share that with other people because you know, like I get to see my husband share, you know, his gift with the world with fishing with people and like also like being a fisher of men and speaking to them about the Lord and, you know, be, I don't know. And so I wanted to be able to make an impact as well, being able to be personal and go into people's homes. And because I feel like when I'm able to go into someone's home after they've reached out, they're ready for a change. They're ready for a different environment and to feel better and to just enjoy life and not be so stressed out and so I get really excited because I'm like yes you know you're ready let's go you know let me share my gift and then I get to just not only share my gift of organization and like helping them make their lives better and optimizing them I also sometimes will get an opportunity to share my faith and so um I just I see it all as just one huge blessing and I just am very grateful that I have been blessed with the gift in order to even be put in those situations to impact people's lives. Even though it's a very small piece of their lives, I feel like planting little bitty seeds here and there are what will eventually make huge impacts in the future. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so true. It's so true. I have chills. Yeah. I, I think when you're able to step into your God-given gifts and talents, magic really does happen you know you are you have you have in my opinion you have uh more attached to your name right you were leona and you were you know monday through friday nine to five super smart super good job you know but you knew in your heart maybe this isn't all all there is or maybe there isn't all that spirit or god you know wants me to accomplish in this lifetime or to be able to touch and impact the lives of people around me you know is this truly what i'm meant to be doing and so for you to almost have that blessing in disguise right of losing your job in 2019 and then kind of picking up the pieces and going okay what's next what's next for me and doing that soul searching and then to come to this point and be able to give back to people in your community i just i love that so much Yay! <laughs> um, it's, been, so, it's been a roller coaster. I mean, it's been a ride, you know, um, because like I launched my business, you know, I, you coached me, I started, I got my first client, you know, and then like, and then, and then it was like just here and there, you know, little bitty baby steps. And then um, since my husband is self-employed, like one of us has to have I always say like a big girl job or, you know, like a, a like a work for someone job because of benefits because having a family. And so I eventually got hired on um, back in February of 2020 to um, one of like a really it, the University of Texas. And um, so I do work like Monday through Friday. And so. I have now it's been a little bit more difficult to schedule like the clients that I used to do that were during the day. And so now I have to work around like my children's schedules and stuff like that. But I am able to still do like a five to nine appointment sometimes throughout the week. And then usually like I'll do one or two on a Saturday or maybe one on a Saturday and like one on a Sunday after church. But that also allows me to not be so super busy, but still continue to be able to share my gift and um, impact people's lives. And so I, I'm very grateful for that. And I'm, I can't even put into words how grateful I am to you for all that you have been able to share with me and help me grow. Um, I, I feel like I'm just a sponge constantly. And like, I just admire you so much because of just the way that you're able to maneuver everything in your life. And, you know, you have all these great ideas and you're great at marketing and you're great at organizing. You're just, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, can I have an ounce of what she's got naturally, you know, because like I can organize someone's home, but like being able to do all the things that go along with creating a business behind it, that's the toughest part for me. And it's not because of like the organization of it. It's just the, I've never, you know, I'm an analytical person, you know, I'm not really like this business person. And so it's grown me a lot, not just business wise, but even um, just 
because I'm an introvert as well, but even like in my people skills, you know, like learning how to talk to people, learning how to um, listen, learning how to just have more empathy and um, all those things, you know, is tough for an introvert. It really, really is, but um, I've grown so much since I've launched this business because of you. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, you've done 99% of the work, let's be honest, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I love to hear that, and I think for you, too, you know, being an introvert and, and going through these life lessons, these mindset lessons, these motivation lessons to kind of pick yourself up and go, okay, I, I got to do the hard things in life, right? I think, you know, it's so easy to just stay comfortable. And that's what most of our country and most of our society does is we kind of stay in our little boxes and, you know, this is all that there is. And so for you to come out of that and dive deep into the world of entrepreneurship, I always say entrepreneurship is just the best teacher. It's the best therapist. It's the best self-help book. It's the best podcast. It, you know, it'll kick you in the butt nine times out of 10 and you have to just keep going. So it's just, you know, to see you grow this thing over the past three years, still be in it, working full time, you know, raising a family, like, you know, nourishing your, your church, your faith, your community, everything. And on top of that, doing this is just remarkable. So I'm so happy that you have stuck with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's even inspired me to even go back to school <laughs> again um I already have a master's degree but I'm like you know I should probably get a master's degree in business because I <laughs> need to know how to run a business and so I'm actually um going back to school in the fall for um an MBA so um, oh my god it's Add just it one of those plate. <laughs> I know I know I don't honestly I'm not really sure how I'm going to manage it all but since I'm a professional organizer and I'm a great planner I'm going to figure it out but um it does it has like I just know that it's a it's great to have the gift and it's great to be able to impact lives but I also really truly need to understand business I do you know it would not only just for myself, but even like for my husband, you know, like he's, he's an entrepreneur and it would even help me help him in his business, you know, because maybe I can take over the marketing, you know, instead of having us pay for his marketing every month, you know, I mean, that's a huge chunk of change. Um, when you're paying people to take care of your website and promote your stuff, you know, it's just a lot. And so, um, I just feel like, you inspire me to continue to seek resources that help me grow. And um, if it, it, it's just inspiring, it's inspiring your energy, your light. Um, you're, you're just one of those people that's like, you just keep pushing through and you just keep going through the tough times and you just keep rolling. You keep, keep coming up with new ideas. And, and I, and I love that because that's not something I naturally tend to gravitate towards. And um, it's great to be able to be connected to people like you that inspire us and help us grow and be better um, versions of ourselves every day. Yes, 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 yes. That is my goal. And I think that's my gift. You know, I thinking back to when I, you know, started Let's Get You Organized in 2011, and then I left my full-time job in 2017 and, you know, took my side hustle full-time. I don't know that professional organizing is, you know, my gift to give the world. Was I good at it? Yeah. Did I grow and scale and hire a team and, you know, do all the things to check all the boxes? Yeah. But through this process, and I've never really said this on a podcast, but I think I realized my main motivation in life is to teach, educate, and inspire others and to really motivate. And was I doing that in organizing homes? Yes, of course. But on a grander level, I, you know, I want to impact millions. I want to be, you know, that keynote speaker on stage. And so having these opportunities to connect with folks like yourself and, you know, be able to do podcasts and courses and YouTube videos and all that, you know, I really do feel like I'm stepping now into that um, God given gift, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, and it, you can tell, I mean, I glean so much from you. Um, 
I, I'm not at the level of being able to share, you know, like anything that I've learned just yet, because I'm still in that process of growing. I'm still in that process of, um, I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm like being greedy, but I feel like, okay, what's going, like, how can I grow? Like, what can, what, what does she got? You know, because <laughs> I'm at that stage where I'm just, I'm in this process, you know, and I, and like when I first launched it, launched it, you know, like I was like, um, I just want to take baby steps. You know, I wasn't one of those people that was like, oh, well, I know that this is what I'm going to do and it's going to be successful. And I was like, it's okay to grow it little by little. Like, that's fine with me. I don't want to just, you know, boom, launch it and have five clients a week. You know, like I would have been overwhelmed even now, like being in it almost three years. I like that I'm still taking those baby steps I because I can still enjoy it it's not a burden to me anymore. It's, it's something that, um, is an outlet as well for just things going on in our lives. You know, you, you can still bless others, even if you're having a bad day, you know, it's just one of those things where there's always that glimmer of light there, that glimmer of hope, you know, and, and then you have things to look forward to and you're not just burned out yet, you know, because I haven't gotten to that point yet to just not want to do it, which, I hope I don't get there because I feel like I'm starting to create a little bit of momentum and I would hate to just be like, oh, I don't want to do this today, you know, and so I hope that that doesn't come around the corner because then that would be very frustrating <laughs> and I wouldn't really know what to do with myself, but um, I'm glad I'm not there yet, so um, and I, I think with side hustling too, you know, I, my background in HR and staffing and recruiting, and I would always talk about having side hustle, like just promote it, talk about, you know, Chris Gillibo's books, all about side hustle and his podcast, Side Hustle School, and, you know, how impactful it can be for you to make your full-time job and your family life easier, better, more fulfilling, um, because you, you, you gravitate towards a certain energy when you step into your passion, like you have Leona, you know, and, and if you think back to 2019, early 2019, before you had left your job, you know, your energy now is totally different. You like, you've up leveled your energy and you're becoming an energetic match to what you want to attract into your life, your ideal clients and your, you know, amazing projects and money coming your way, you know, all the great opportunities, because you have allowed yourself to be open to receive those things. And, so I'm such a huge advocate of side hustling because it makes every ounce of your life better when you have that energy, energetic shift. You yeah. do. I mean, and I'm still in the process of learning all of that. You know, I'm still in the process. Um, and so that's, that's what's so amazing about what you offer to the world is because without you, people like me would be lost in the sauce and we would have no direction and we wouldn't like there there's, it's so true when people say you don't know what you don't know. And it's like, you also don't know what you should be doing if you don't have someone coaching you or kind of letting you know, like, what are the possibilities out there? Like all these things that you offer us and what we can do to make our businesses better. I would have absolutely no idea because I don't know what I don't know, you know, I do, it, that's just the nature of it. And so it's just amazing to be able to, I, there's a lot of professional organizers out there and I really do feel like it was a God thing for us to get connected and for me to be able to grow from what you've been able to teach me. And so I, I could never say, I don't know, there, there's no words to express the gratefulness that I have to you and what you share with the world because it, it, it changes lives. It's impactful. It's impacted my life in immeasurable ways. So I'm appreciative. you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, even when I called you, cause I mean, my first step when I started this was, I was like, I got this idea because I was like, I was tired of being depressed. And I was like, I got this idea. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go on Facebook and join a group, you know, and I can't even remember the name. I don't even think I follow it anymore. Cause it was just so overwhelming. And, um, I just, I think I asked a question and we're like, you reached out and you said, Hey, I coach, you know, have a boot camp or something. And I was like, how much is it? I'll hire you. <laughs> because 
<laughs> I was like, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea how to get out there because just entrepreneurship was just not my thing. I, at that point in my life was like, I'll just work for somebody. You tell me what to do, you know, give me my task or whatever, and I'll get it done. You know, cause that's just that analytical introverted thinking. And um, it was just super scary for me to think of me also being an entrepreneur as well, because I've seen, but the other thing is, is my husband's always been an entrepreneur our entire marriage. And we've been together like 20 years almost. And so I've seen the struggles. I've seen how hard being an entrepreneur is. And I was like, oh gosh, I would just rather work for someone, you know, because it's a lot, it's a lot. You never get a break ever. You work 24 seven. And so I'm starting to shift my thinking as well, though, and trying to figure out ways that I can allow my business to work for me while I'm not really working it. So I've grown in that as well, thanks to you. And um, because I know physically organi organizing people's homes, which I never thought would like be a physical issue. It has turned into a physical issue for me. Like I have like um, really bad tennis elbow some, some days and just because it's a lot of work. Like when you're with clients constantly and you don't really have a break in and you also have a full-time job, you know, you just, your body doesn't get a break. And so I'm like, okay, I'm starting to shift, but I still love what I'm doing. It's just, I'm, those wheels are turning, you know, like, okay, I'm here. So like, where am I going? You know, instead of just being complacent. And thinking this is all I'll ever do because I um I know that there are other possibilities. I'm just I don't know what they are yet. So I'm I'm um, looking for you for you to be like hi. <laughs> well, they'll come in. I know they will. I know they will. And before we popped on, I know you were kind of you know chatting about the different sort of maybe virtual services you might be offering, sort of life coaching, life optimization, which I just love that you called it that. Um, so tell us about that. What is next for Assess the Nest? I'm, I'm spinning around some ideas of, I, I've had a lot of people that like a lot of my clients that I go into their homes and, um, like I do a phenomenal job organizing their homes and, but their homes are not the only thing that they need organized. You know, they need help meal prepping or they need help trying to figure out how to have a less stressful week or they need help, you know, trying to manage, you know, all the activities of their children or, you know, even like budgeting or um, like just organizing possibly like when someone's passed away or, you know, I feel those are types of things that I feel like are part of life and, and not just organization, like in our homes. And so I decided, Hey, I'm kind of throwing this you know, these thoughts around about possibly doing also something called life optimization, you know, and just going in and being able to offer that service either virtually or in person, you know, helping people get a plan together, sticking to it, a budget, you know, um, I know a lot of different resources for a lot of those types of things that help makes help make our lives more efficient and, and flow better and have less stress. Um, because, Yes, it's great to have our homes organized, but there's so many other pieces of the puzzle that I kind of look at like my life as a bunch of gears and like God's in the middle for me. And then it's like work and family and friends and, you know, um, my side hustle and just all like meals and fitness and, you know, stock market, you know, all these different things are going on. And if I spend too much time in one of these areas, my gears are going to just start stopping, you know, like they're going to be on hold or this one's going to get jacked up or, you know, this one's going to be needing to be repaired. And so I feel like life optimization is like being able to manage all these different things in our lives, you know, giving them the time that they need so that, you know, everything just keeps going like a well oiled you know, gear. And so, um, that it's, that's some, an idea. I've not really, I did do some stuff on my website, so it's kind of in the works, but that, that's still that little, um, you know, slow and steady wins the race for me. You know, I'm one of those that take those little baby steps little by little. I try not to ever bought off like a whole chunk of something at one time, because I know I'll choke to death, but I, <laughs> I really do try to do it little by little. That's just my, that's how my 
my mind works. It just makes me feel better. I don't get so overwhelmed. I'm one of those that um, there's a project due. I'm going to start working on it the day I'm told it's that it needs to be done. I mean, the day that I, you know, that I'm given the assignment and then I'll do little pieces to get there until it's done instead of like waiting to the last minute. Like I'll have a panic attack. So. <laughs> Love you so much. Oh my God. You're like, little pieces. <laughs> Um, and I think, you know, for our, both of our energies, I think like me being the, you know, make it happen and take action now, you know, so I think you rubbed off on me a little bit like, okay, Melissa, slow down, like, hold on, this doesn't happen, have to happen right now. <laughs> it's been great knowing you, you know, it's like the yin and yang, right? The yeah. I love it. So, okay, life optimization and then the gear example, I was totally following you, you know, imagining like just this well-oiled machine and and that is life and I think I see you stepping into building you know literally building an empire I see you having a team I see you having experts on your team for like bookkeeping accounting budgeting and then like meal prepping and fitness and nutrition and personal training you know and really cultivating like a whole community I could totally see this taking off because like you said it's not just about the home it starts in the home but there's all these other areas of the, of the life that need to be optimized. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited to see what you do next. Well, I totally need your help along the way. So <laughs> I'm here for you. Because you know? I, have all these, I have all these ideas, but you're able to like see a bigger, you know, a bigger picture because of how far along you are in the process. You know, I'm still like in the bottom here, like climbing this little mountain, you know, um, you're not at the bottom <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh well I'm so excited to see what you do next and where can everyone find you Leona I know that they'll be inspired by all the stories that you told us today and you know your energy is infectious where can everyone find you well you can always find me on my website you know you can which is um www.caldemeyernest.com and then you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Yelp and find my organizer and Angie's List slash Home Advisor and wherever else uh, Melissa has told me to sign up. I think I'm on Thumbtack as well. Um, you can find me all over the place. Google, just Google Leona Caldemeyer and it'll be up there. Um, you might see um, my husband competing for me because uh, he's always at the top. So I'm coming for him. But, um, <laughs> but no, um, yeah, so you can find me all over the place. Just uh, assess the nest, professional organizing. And then um, you could always give me a call or email me or, you know, whatever. So um, I would love to connect with you all. Um, I would love to continue to I think it's one of those things too, where so many people are so scared to share what they know with other people um, in fear of someone um, jeopardizing their well-being or their livelihood and things like that. And and I really love that you've created a community of people that share and aren't afraid to help each other grow because we all live in different areas and we all impact people in different ways and i think it's such a blessing for us to be able to glean from one another without the fear of someone coming in and stealing our business you know because i think sometimes so many people do um keep things on lock and key because of that fear and i'm just so grateful to be a part of a community that is not like that we're very you know like hey i did this and hey you know um try that or you know like kind of like the zoom calls and stuff. it's just amazing to see all of the camaraderie and you know everyone sharing and caring about each other and wanting to see each other grow and be successful i think that's the best thing about me being able to be a part of this community is i've seen a lot of people um wanting to help others and it's refreshing especially in the world that we live in today so i it's just been a blessing 100 percent the whole way and i'm thankful yes community over competition right there's a space for everyone grab your piece of the pie get that market share make that money make that impact use those god-given gifts 
That's yeah. all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I, I, I think the world of you and I'm, um, you know, I'll, I'll call you and be like, Hey, I don't know what you said, but thank you so much for um, everything that you've done. I, I seriously wouldn't be where I am if it were not for your guidance and direction. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Leona. It's been amazing having you on the show and I can't wait to see what you do next. I am so excited for all these new iterations and versions and see you grow to the top, grow your team, grow and scale, get your MBA. Hello. Oh my gosh. You are a superwoman. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Make sure that you're subscribed. New episodes come out every Wednesday.